A long time ago, I was taking a class and they were talking about what interests you and what you're really knowledgeable about. And I thought, well, I'm not into ancient coins and I don't know about cars, but I do know about people. So that's what led me to do either single figures or relationships or groups of people. I start with, an, I start with a concept and so I try to keep the same theme going for all the pieces which is this relationship or um, w kind of a universal theme of that we're in this together and let's have a good time. The um, hardest part is to think of different ways to present the same idea because I really want people to know that that's important to me. Typically, I start with acrylics. I will do quite a an unusual kind of background, blending the colors that I like together, and then incorporate a piece of collage on top of that or several pieces to show several people in a row. For a while I was doing a lot of paintings just with my fingers with gloves on. Now I'm doing more brushwork, palette knife, or occasionally fingers to get the paint on. What I really like is an unpredictable mark, so however I can get that is what I like to do and then incorporate the papers or, or line drawn even into the paint sometimes. I've always enjoyed figure drawing. And then for a while I was doing a lot of imaginary landscapes, which I also enjoyed. And so it was a constant uh, play of which shall I do more of. And I got a lot of feedback on figurative work, uh, especially the gesture of the figure. So I decided to stay with the figures and do them in a more, as I said, symbolic way rather than academically perfect drawings. So I guess probably for oh, the past three or four years I've been working, kind of concentrating on the figurative work. A feeling of joy and um, uh, appreciation for color combinations, mood. Um, some reality, some room for some uh, imagination on their part or creating their own story of what I do.